Hey, and welcome to Springtime with Emperor Palpatine. Oh, sorry, got allergies and crap. Alright, I'm going to talk about math today, so feel free to heckle me mercilessly for how wrong it is. But uh, I ran it by my, my math nerd wife, and, and she doesn't think I'm crazy, so that's at least a good start. So I'm going to talk about how I made a guitar radius dish, not using standard methods. Uh, with pretty consistent results and uh, even though what I'm going to show you in the video is a prototype so it's missing some perfection on the outer curve of the skin of the radius dish I, that's not going to impact the actual radius itself so uh, without further ado here we go if you go to randypeterman.com forward slash radius hyphen dish hyphen depth hyphen calculator uh, you'll get to this calculator that we're looking at here, and you can use it yourself. If you want to make a radius dish that's 24 feet, uh, you can do that. If you want to make a radius dish that's two feet wide, you can do that. And this will just continue to uh, adjust. We're going to use the Pythagorean theorem here, which I've explained in maybe awkward uh, mathematical description down here, um, to calculate the depth of the radius dish. And the reason why we want the depth is that if you have three points on the curve, you should be able to get a consistent curvature here between those three points. And, and if we have the depth in the two outer rim uh, points, that should allow us to be able to cut into a piece of pine that curvature. And then so if you had, for example, uh, one by three pine, uh, you could then be able to cut that curve in, intersect it, making an X, and then make uh, four other support pieces and have an octagon where you'd have a cross here, a cross here with an X, and then support pieces, as you'll see on the snippets from the video that I have with my existing uh, uh, prototype of this. But it, but this has worked for me pretty well, and I, I think it works well. Then you take a piece of paneling that I, I didn't cut mine very precisely because I was doing a prototype, but you could cut a nice pretty circle, maybe an inch wider than it needs to be, uh, or, or two inches just to give yourself a little lip off the edge of the concave. Um, and then I use some finishing nails, and you want to make sure you make sure those aren't protruding and sand around the nail holes because I, I did get a small amount of damage at, at one of the nail hole sites on my uh, redwood top for my acoustic bass guitar that I, I worked this uh, process on. Uh, so um, I fixed that, of course, but not until I made the damage. So uh, go ahead and check that out uh, and, and see what you think. Just a quick run over on the math with A squared plus B squared equals c squared. That's that's the Pythagorean theorem. So we don't know what a is, uh, but we do know what c is. That's the radius. And we know what b is. It's half the dish width, because we're looking for the depth, right? If you do some number that isn't the dish width, or half the dish width, you'll get some other part of the curve. Um, and so we want right down the middle of the curve, the arc that we're, that we're looking for for our dish. So we, we do c squared minus b squared equals a squared. And then if we, sub we su subtract a from c, we get a difference. And that difference is actually the depth of the dish. And so you can see here, for example, if we had a 24-foot radius, the a would be 23.979, which would equal uh, 21 thousandths of a foot, which is a little absurd but that equals about a quarter of an inch deep for the radius of a 24-foot radius. Um, and there's a few other observations on here and, and about how the JavaScript works that does the math and the precision. Um, but let me know your thoughts, and I, I hope this kind of gives people off and a good start for an inexpensive uh, set of radius dishes because you can spend probably $40 on pine and paneling and make four radius dishes uh, that that's pretty cheap so i hope this helps and i look forward to your feedback thanks come over to the dark side all right hello internet here is 
my radius dish. And this is a pretty small amount of radius. It's kind of even maybe hard to see. Ooh, fancy. Here's some bowels and guts of the radius dish. You can see there's a slight slant. And a little magic with the bubble. It's a little off, but ever so slightly. This is a prototype, so I'm not going to lose any sleep about that.